Yo, what's going on guys? Canadian Dipper here, back for another review. As you saw from the intro there, my a good buddy of mine, um, James Pettit, um, made me a logo for this channel. And I thought it was an awesome job that he did. So let me know in the comments what you think. Could it use some adjustments? I don't know, but He's in school for web development, and I think he did an awesome job on it. I love the fact that he added the Canadian colors into the tobacco leaves, so I think it really hits the spot. Now, I am in Canada. Um, I had a hell of a time coming in. Not really. I'm, I'm being dramatic, just a little bit. But I was selected to do a randomized test and I'll add a little clip in here to show you what it was all about. And um, anyways, I had to do it um, within 24 hours and if I didn't comply, I would be subjected to certain penalties. And here, I'll show you the video. Okay, so um, at the border, I've been selected for a randomized test. It's supposed to be prepaid, but I got to do it within 24 hours or um, I can either be subjected to a fine, imprisonment, or be taken to a quarantine facility. If you do not comply, you may not be exempted from quarantine. You may also be transferred to a quarantine facility, face fines, tickets, and or imprisonment. All travelers will receive calls from a live agent or automated system to verify your compliance. Talk about the true North strong and free, eh? This isn't the Canada I know. So as you saw in the video, that's, <laughs> it's some BS, Nazis. Canada is acting like a bunch of Nazis. So, but I'm here and um, they want me to follow up on an appointment but I am not going to because my forced Nazi COVID test came back negative and I won't even be here for the appointment. So they can go fuck themselves. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, yep. So we're in Canada. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing what I think is pretty Canadian. I thought the product kind of suited the video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I've had a crazy week. I'm going for my sleep study tomorrow night. And I hope to get some results. And today I just feel sluggish. You know, I had quite the party coming home. You know, I saw a lot of my friends and we did a little bit too much stuff. 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 But anyways. Puck. One of my favorites right here. It's real, it looks like a hockey puck and that's why I love it. I think it suits Canada well. I mean, we're the best at hockey. Prove me wrong, bitch. Um... But Puck Spearing, <clears throat> I have no idea who this is made by, by the way. Um, this is a fairly recent product that I've found. I've done it before, but I think I already did a video on this, did I? I'm trying to think of the ultra icing. I wonder if I did that. I don't remember. I'm gonna feel like an idiot if I'm sitting here like, yeah, this is brand new when I, I don't think I did, but 
anyways i may have they also have an ultra icing which is the one i prefer it's like extra strength this is regular and if you've been following my videos you know i prefer the extra strength in all my snus products so oh geez i don't know what happened here i got like cigar tobacco in here i was whatever anyways i love the color of the bags too like it's just overall cool product So, I don't know, let's give her a try. Oh, I dropped the lid. I don't know, for some reason, whenever I'm back home, I feel well. And not emotionally or like on it, but physically. I used to get these rashes on the sides here of my face they were just red and I went to the doctor about it okay here in Canada I went to the doctor about it in August I don't remember anyway she gave me a an ointment or cream and she said it's possibly germinitis from constantly wearing masks well I've been in the states where we don't wear masks at least if you're vaccinated anyway. I know people who aren't vaccinated still don't wear masks, but whatever. Anyways, so I told her that. I was like, look, I don't wear a mask hardly in the U.S. And she said, I don't know what to tell you. But she thought it was germinitis. So I was like, okay, whatever. Use the cream maybe three or four times. I didn't use it as prescribed. And it went away a little bit when I used the ointment in the States. But then it would constantly come back, so I gave up on the ointment. That's why I don't take it as prescribed, because to me it just wasn't working. Whatever. I come home. Gone. Nothing. Doesn't make sense, right? I wonder if it's my surroundings or like the the nature that you're around because um I have no rashes here but when I go back home let's see if they come back I don't know man it seems weird but mentally too you know like I feel comfortable here I find the states kind of like dirty in a way I'm sorry if you're offended by that, but in my opinion, everything just seems run down and old. Not everywhere. Like, um, Pittsburgh has really, um, modernized, and I think Pittsburgh is awesome. I think it's a good looking, they have a good looking downtown. I haven't been on the outskirts to really comment, but I, I've heard that it's better than Philadelphia that Philadelphia is really bad but Pittsburgh is really clean and when I say run down and dirty I mean a lot of areas of the U.S. are and some areas of Canada are too but I mean Canada has almost modernized like I don't think you could find an old house here as bad as in the states and when I say that like really old and run down and needs repairs Canada is more lenient not lenient um they push for more um renovations and um so to me the ocean seems and i wonder if it's like also the pollution as you know canada obviously does pollute some but not quite as near as the united states so i'm wondering if the air quality here in Canada is a lot better than it is in the U.S. Because when I'm in the U.S., I feel like shit. And when I come here, I don't know, I feel healthy. It makes no sense to me. I don't get it. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm an oddball. 
whatever. But yeah, this, it's spearmint. And I think it has a nice tone, tone to it. Um, it's not my favorite flavor. It's my favorite, like, like I said, I like the different color bags. I think those are cool. And I think the can is cool. It just makes me think of Canada, like hockey. But other than that, the flavor is, it's good. Um, but it's not the best thing I've ever had. So... I got some food, some Mick Dicks, and I swear to God, oh, they did give me a straw. Whew. Oh, these ones don't, I don't get it, okay? So Justin Trudeau banned single-use plastic in Canada. Well, he said he did. Some McDonald's have paper straws. If you ever come to Canada, almost majority of fast food restaurants have paper straws instead of plastic straws. Uh, this McDonald's gave me a plastic one, which I was shocked. I was kind of hoping it would actually be a paper one. Um, I have no preference. I actually think the paper straws are better. Some say they suck because, like, after a while, the straw gets soggy, which is true, but it doesn't bug me that much, and I think it's smoother. But, I don't know, maybe I'm an oddball. My family would tell you that I'm an oddball. But, um... Let me know what you think of the logo. I still haven't received any friend requests on Call of Duty. So I don't know how um, the few of you that do watch these videos. I don't know if you play video games. But again, I will continue. This is probably going to be my last video that I am going to put my Activision ID in the description of this video. Because I think I've done it enough now. And yeah, so we're finally on a Snus product. I did find some odd dip products here and there. Well, I found one, I say a few, but I found one that I'm going to do. Um, I've been in Canada for a while and I was hoping to make more videos than I did. This is probably going to be the only video while I'm in Canada because I'm going back to the States either on the 11th or 12. I haven't quite figured out. But great news, the US finally gave me my work documents that I need to do anything, you know, to get healthcare, to work. So that's out of the way. I'm happy. Now I'm stressing because, well, now it's time to get going on something. Like I said, I'm focused on the truck driving school. And, you know, I'm stressed about not passing, but I'm trying to be confident. I'm trying to, you know, focus on that. But, yeah, things seem to be going back to normal. The border opened yesterday. Um, the U.S. does not require a negative test to return to the country. Thank the Lord. It's such a dumb rule. Um, but to return to Canada, you still need a negative test. So it's a dumb, dumb rule. I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive and they're trying to get rid of it. But for now, it's, it remains. So, um, if you guys end up going to the... If you Canadians end up going to the U.S., let me know how it goes and what you do. If you're coming to Canada, despite the stupid negative test, let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know, like, do you guys have long-distance relationships, family, cross-border that you haven't seen in ages? Um, I'd be happy to hear all that jazz, too. But, anyway, guys, I'm going to get going here. I want to eat my food and watch some Netflix. Unfortunately, no Netflix and chill. But Canadian Dipper here. Stay safe out there. Keep on dipping. Keep on snussing. Whatever your mojo is. And I'll see you guys on the next review.